very difficult. This is hard. The battle against Bobia is won. Trust me. It's a question of the I don't know how, but the God I will serve tells me in very many depth. And I'm sure you know I'm not a pastor. I'm so far away from God. But like the pastor said, I did not know how he chose me. I'm so unworthy. But with humility, I know. It's so certain in my mind that we will make way. Well. Yeah. I'm so sure about it. Without the share of God in my mind, I always ask, why is it me? That's why I don't know who said it. We are a very blessed generation of Southern Cameroonians, a very blessed generation of Amazonians. We are so unworthy for what God is about to do for us. Amen. Because He single this our generation to make a difference for them. Amen. So when we come here, it's a tough moment. But because you've made the sacrifice to be here, we must make this moment special. Amen. I know some of you have only talk of what you want to come and contribute. But when you look at the resolve of our people back home, we must dig deeper. We have had crazy stories about what is happening. Every one of our souls that dies makes this job no meaningful anymore. Do we want our people to die? Of course not. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember that every blood that spills on that line is meant to trace that line of crimes and the sins of yesterday mm -hmm. and making a greater country for tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, go to worship God. Trust me, I pray mm -hmm. every day. I think this trouble has increased my faith. I don't know all of you. Yeah. But the truth is, the miracle that he showed me in the last 10 weeks, I feel sometimes I can turn my, my whole body inside out in 10 weeks. But the awesome power of God is every day. Amen. Right? That's why no matter what you know, about the power in the army. This our struggle is like nothing they've seen before. Yeah. Because God is in control. Yeah. No matter how many weapons they carry, this God that we serve is awesome. He's yeah. making things happen. How do you justify that when the parliament is in session, right. after Paul Bilyan in his country, is Mr. Nyan Jifeji Marcel. After Nyan Jifeji Marcel, is Kabayi Nikkei there's three people in the country who go to number four. Then they say, when we're primaries, we want to call the best. They say the first three in the class. Nobody cares about number four. Mm. That's why this country has three people who rule that country. Mr. Paul Bidia, Mr. Nyak, Tiffany, myself, Kabayi, the close. But the offices of the two next person to Paul Bidia, God point in one day. Isn't our God awesome? Awesome, awesome, awesome. 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 <laughs> yeah, what I get from the offices of the two most important. You know who's not going to be done next door? Bobia. So you keep going to the church. This struggle, this one, the main struggle. Oh, yes. And I ask myself, but you know, when I want to teach myself, why I'm going to your mind. I also turn around and say, why not me? Uh -huh. I'm a child of God. Yes. See, people were living poor. You are not one of us. He never went and died with Jesus Christ. When he came, they said, no, you're not one of us. But you don't have the New Testament of the Bible. Hello? Hi! Hi. <laughs> 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 too early. <laughs> Because he put the sun on the army to take us to pray. Hallelujah! Trust me, if any matter when you're on the doors, I know for sure. Oh, yes. I don't mind what I'm not making as a good time to teach people, sir. I might not get them with you. I will get them with you. <laughs> and we are going to build a nation. Yes. Amen. And we say, my God, my God. Hallelujah. That's the nation we are waiting to build. I say this with authority, not because I want to show up, but because I just hear this voice. God says something is going to happen. I also say it because I want to be accountable. Oh. 
tomorrow, if I turn away from this, people should shout at the day of time that man for go, stand there and say, Sisi, could you told us that you will give glory to God? Why are you turning away from it? Oh. He is going to do mighty things for us. We are going to build a nation that Africa will call and say, What has God done? And I'm humbled that he's going to use my, this is my small baby. <laughs> I wanted to enlighten, bring out the joy. Because when you give and you give with a firm heart, then you're not giving happy. I want us to give. We are going to empty our buses. The good thing about it in the first century is that we really don't even need to put it in your purse to give here. You just have to give it in your credit card. <laughs> Check. So just think of that code number and you can go and transfer. We have our phones. If your phone is not working, mine is not working. <laughs> so you just need to connect to the internet and all the accounts to the flow. As a matter of fact, we are going to tell those who are online that they can just call. And you can say, What's up? Let's give them some numbers. Let them just channel the money on WhatsApp. Let's send the money we need to raise enough funds. The tragedy our people have gone through and are going through is such that we must give them a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. My prayer is that we did now, we did now in December, we have 20 40 foot containers going down that sea. Amen. When our people will see what we can do to support them, they are amazing and shaking. But you know, the more I think about this, you know, when we read the Bible, they said the children of God came and they walked around the city. Walk around the city and the walls they dump it. It looks so unreal. My goodness, our Jericho, we are preached there and we are walking around. My friend! And when God comes, he comes, the walls will come to It is so beautiful in my eyes like yesterday. It's going to happen. We have to believe it. He says he is able, abundantly able. Yes. To deliver who? Those who trust him. Amen. Who trust in God. Yes. That's why he's going to deliver us. Don't get any misfortune. Look, shall people be killed? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. But he is able. He's going to deliver us because we trust him. Amen. The people in Yam, they do not know what is happening to them because they're like, how come this whirlwind is passing on our feet? The guys are standing on shaky ground. It is shaky. Yeah. And it's a matter of when mm. all will come tumbling down. Amen. So let's dig deep. It's not a matter of the number. It's always a matter of the willingness. Yeah. Let's dig deep. Let's make this moment count. Let's just help our people. It is in the kind of support we show up that it shows how strong, how much we believe in this. See, sometimes when I travel and I see some people, I cry. You shouldn't be here. No. God did not bring us as a person so that we should come and be in London. Look at the all of us are troubling people with winter jackets. He brought us in the land of the with winter jackets. We just need to be in and enjoy it. Amen. I just want to find a place to get up in the evening and shoot my palm and dance like the lights. <laughs> 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 We are going to claim it. We are going to work for it. We are going to spend and make it happen. This thing is not a negotiation. Some people call me and say, Sisiko, why are you saying that you negotiate? We are not negotiating with Bob Dia or anything but on the terms of the situation. They have cheated us for 50 cents. They still owe us now. If somebody owes you, will you just walk away? You go back and collect what he owes you. We are going to take what he owes us. Go away. But are we going to pay? Of course we are gone. Amen. It's a question of when we get to go and sit there and get to sign those decrees and we are going to sign them. Yes. Now is the moment when we want to start showing our people how much we truly want this. Mm. One thing that we have failed is trouble. It's the ability to give. When I saw those body reports, I was ashamed. I was ashamed that we are not putting our bodies where our mouths are. And there's no better time to do so than now. Mm. This struggle has reached a stage where we are no more talking about peanuts. This struggle has reached a stage where 
we must look at the election and see how much tax am I going to pay for myself to make this job happen. We cannot go to Goya with empty words. We have to start building that way now by how much we commit. Not chicken change. That $20 is too small. We must, you must give and invest. That's when, and then you give it to the smile on the face. That's when you know you truly want to make Goya. So I'm urging you, ladies and gentlemen, We've come here, you have a real place you should be on the Saturday evening after I had a week's work in, in England. That's, this is the last place you should be. If you've come here because you want to make a difference, a real difference. So please, let's give. Let's give until it hurts, but let's give with a smile on our face because that's where we are. Who we are. And we are going to be where. You know, the carnival that we have in Korea. The first one will be crying. Because yeah. we pay, we come out. We have to sell it out in one way. But after that, we will dance. As I say, always say, we will sing together. We will dance together. Mm -hmm. We will be together. Thank you all. God bless you. Have a good day.